Hello everyone, thank you for watching the Newbie World videos. So this is the third video uh, of transaction PFCG. We will learn about creating roles. Okay. So in the last video we have learned about changing and assigning roles. Okay. So after introduction of PFCG we have learned about changing and assigning roles. Now we will learn how to create roles in PFCG. So you want a transaction PFCG. Okay. So you want whatever role you want to create you enter it okay so we have already discussed this in the last video the naming convention of the role okay so roles delivered by sap they start with sap underscore so you don't create any role with you know starting with sap underscore okay for your own uh, user roles instead of using the sap namespace use the customer namespace okay so sap namespace all the objects they start with sap underscore okay for roles they start with sap underscore now in, in this customer namespace we have y underscore and z underscore okay so you cannot tell from the names of the delivered roles whether they are single or composite roles you should therefore create a naming convention for your roles so that you can differentiate between single and composite roles now the other thing which we have to make sure here is single roles and composite roles we have a concept of single and composite composite role is nothing but a collection of single roles now for easier identification if you want to just see and uh, you know in your project if you want to get to know from the name of the role whether it's a single or a composite you put a naming convention say like z underscore means all the single roles they start with z underscore and all the composite roles they start with y underscore or vice versa whatever it is okay so you give one set of naming convention to single role and one set of naming convention to composite roles so here i am creating a single role so i give c underscore or test role and i say create role okay you go to this option create role now you can assign transactions reports and web addresses to the role on the menu tab page okay so we have the menu tab page here okay where we get the user menu once the user is logged on to the system so there you assign transactions reports and web addresses okay so for a navigation instead of user remembering all the transactions he can navigate from the initial screen to any transaction or report he wants okay so all those are assigned in this menu tab page now to generate the profile for the role choose change authorization data on the authorization tab page okay now you are done with that now you go to authorizations and you say change authorization data okay so you go to this particular uh, option now an input window may appear depending on which activities you selected you are prompted to enter the organization levels organization levels are authorization fields for which uh, uh, occur in a lot of authorizations an organization level is for example a company code if you enter a particular value in a dialog box okay the authorization fields of the roles are maintained automatically the authorizations which are proposed automatically for the selecting for the selected activities of the role are displayed in the following screen some authorizations have default values whenever traffic lights appear in the uh, tree display you must adjust the authorization values manually you can maintain the authorization values by expanding the object classes and clicking on the white fields to the right of the authorization field name so don't worry I'll, I'll show you the screenshot so next thing is like you give a role name you have to give a description here also that is important for the role for easier you know identification see now you have worked on something you have created a role and you you have left the company now if somebody else wants to do certain changes on this role later at point of time okay you have to give a suitable description for the role you should know like what is that role for right similarly when the roles are assigned to the users okay you should know like what is the purpose of the role so description is very important give a suitable description of the role okay the activity which the role is you know supposed to do say like this role is for the accountant say it's a role for accountant accountant role like that give a description now in this menu we have we are done with this menu tab you are going to this authorization tab and you go to change authorization data okay now so this, so this is how the screen comes okay so you have to maintain individual uh, activities for each of the authorization values 
okay so you give the authorization objects you select the authorization objects and you maintain the activities in them understood so that's that's that is what i'm you know trying to explain here and sometimes like uh, instead of the activities like you you are supposed to enter some organization levels like the company code or something okay so you have to enter those all in the uh, authorization fields okay so that's what you have to maintain the relevant authorization objects and their fields so that's what you will do in this authorizations tab now when you have maintained the values the authorizations count as manually modified and are not overwritten when you copy more activities into the role and edit the authorizations again okay so when you do any modifications or changes okay so later at some point of time when you do some other modifications okay so these are not uh, overwritten okay now you can assign the complete authorizations for the hierarchy level for all non maintained fields by clicking on the traffic lights okay so uh, there will be certain other things which you don't touch so you just click green it's because until all this is made green you cannot generate a profile okay so for a particular one say like you have changed some uh, you know assign some activity or whatever it is so it will turn green for the other ones which you have not touched okay so you manually change it to green and then you say this uh, generate profile okay then you go to the option generate pro profile okay so whenever there are red traffic lights there are organizational levels with no values you can enter and change organization levels with org levels if you want other functions in the tree display such as copying or correcting authorizations you can show them with utilities settings okay so here you can find red traffic lights as well so that denotes that there are no org levels okay and uh, if you want other functions also you can go to utilities and settings you can go there okay now generate an authorization profile for the authorizations to do this choose generate you are prompted for an authorization profile name a valid name in the customer name spaces proposed okay now once you have selected the required authorizations and you have defined the corresponding activities in the authorizations so you need to generate the profile that is very important okay so you go and you say you generate a profile then a val so it looks like this so once you click on that generate profile the screen will appear so uh, a default name pops up and you have to give a text okay so the text is nothing but it you say like this profile is for this particular role so profile for role so and so like that now leave the leave the tree display after the profile generation if you make the menu and then if you change the menu and then call the tree display for the authorizations again the authorizations of new activities are mixed with those of the existing authorizations there may be few yellow traffic lights because there are authorizations in the tree that are incompletely defined you must either manually assign values to this or if you do not want this delete them to delete an authorization deactivate first and then delete it okay now once the profile is generated don't touch the tree display again okay so if you change the menu again then what happens uh, the traffic lights here some of them will change to yellow again okay so these are again incompletely defined so you have to manually assign the values to this or if you don't want them you have to delete it okay so and a deletion of an authorization means you have to deactivate it first and then delete it okay so and after that you can assign users to the role immediately and save your entries okay so all this is part of this role you have created a role okay so first the menu tabs you'll action then you go to the authorizations tab so here you select the authorizations and you define the activities okay so make sure like the entire tree structure is green you generate a profile okay so after generating a profile uh, you you can then assign go to the users tab here and then assign the role to the users that is the last step okay then you finally you save the entries here the, the save you do okay and when the profile is generated a name is prompted then you have to give a suitable text okay so what uh, everything in this video it, it, it tells you the various steps of creating a role in 
PFCG. So what we have learned here, so first we are creating the role and we are generating the profile. So that's how this PFCG is named as, okay, profile generator tool. Okay, so it's, it's from here, the name has been kept like profile generator. Okay, so SAP says like, from authorizations, don't create a profile manually. You create a role, you select the required authorizations activities. Okay, so this is what we are doing here. And from here, you go to this generate profile. Okay, so when you go to this generate profile, the profile will be automatically generated for the objects which are selected. And initially, you have already assigned it to a role. So that profile is mapped to this role okay so and uh, and here you assigned uh, three things the authorizations and profiles are important apart from that you can also assign the users which are supposed to have this role also okay so there you go to this users tab and you assign the users so this we have seen in the last video okay like changing roles okay changing and assigning roles to users okay so you go to the user tab and you assign the role to the users and in the menu tab we assign the user menu okay so once the users log on to the system okay so what menu they should get once they log on okay so that is also uh, assigned here okay so this takes care of everything so starting from the user logging on to the system what type of display they are supposed to have next what type of authorizations the users will have and this role is mapped to how many users everything is taken care in this pfcg okay so uh, this video is self-explanatory okay I've, I've presented various screenshots also so this shows you various steps of creating the role okay so so far we have discussed what is pfcg then in the last video we have learned about changing a role and assigning it to users now i have showed you how to create a role so there are like couple of other videos okay so in the next video we'll learn about how to create a composite role okay here we are creating a single role okay and you have to take care about the naming convention also the roles which are delivered from sap they start with sap underscore okay so the roles which belong to our uh, the customer namespace they generally start with y underscore or z underscore okay now uh, to differentiate between a single role and a composite role okay so here i have discussed creation of a single role okay i have selected this role option that means like we are creating a single role okay in the next video we'll discuss how to create a composite role so just to uh, make things easier we differentiate the single roles and composite roles by their naming conventions okay so say like in our project maybe we have taken single roles they start with z underscore and composite roles they start with y underscore so that's how you can make things easier by just looking at the role name we can make out of it single or composite so that that again depends just you know it's customized it it depends on your project okay however the, the rules from sap they start with sap underscore please don't mingle with them okay don't touch them they are delivered by sap okay so don't create roles with you know start uh, name starting with sap underscore don't modify the roles which are delivered from sap also that will create problems when you do a upgrade later okay so uh, this is all you know about creating roles in pfcg so please watch the next videos as well okay thank you